am a fighter and not a quitter. I cannot deliver the mandate on which I was elected. I am resigning as leader of the Conservative Party. I've got the list here. 45p tax cut, gone. Corporation tax cut, gone. 20p tax cut, gone. And her supposed best friend, the former Chancellor, he's gone as well. They're all gone. So why is she still here? Mr Speaker, I am a fighter and not a quitter. In the last couple of minutes, uh, I've been told that Suella Braverman has resigned as Home Secretary. She says, I have concerns about the direction of this government. Just the latest in a long series of problems for the Prime Minister. Grant Shapps, who she sacked when she came into office in Downing Street just over a month ago, is the new Home Secretary. It's all going on here this <laughs> afternoon. Labour have brought about a debate on fracking in which the government is whipping its MPs to vote against the Labour motion, effectively voting in favour of potentially allowing fracking. Now, it was made very, very clear by Tory whips earlier today that this was being treated it is a confidence vote in the government. Do the nose have it? The nose have it. I would urge you to launch an investigation into the scenes outside the entrance to the no lobby earlier. I saw members being physically manhandled into another lobby and being bullied. I'm livid. I really shouldn't say this, but I hope all those people that put Liz Truss in number 10, I hope it was worth it, because the damage they have done to our party is extraordinary. We don't have a com we don't have a government. You might as well have. Uh, I mean, the lettuce might as well be running the country. We've got to get rid of her, haven't we? I'm not sure it could get any worse. Can't keep up with it for one minute. I'll be surprised if they survive the day, to be quite honest. Now, Liz Truss is meeting the most senior Conservative backbencher, Sir Graham Brady, as I speak to you. He is the chair of the influential 1922 committee, the group of MPs who run leadership elections for the party. And after those crisis talks, I now understand there will be a statement at 1.30. This lunchtime looks like we may get a big development in the future of Liz Truss. Uh, it's, it's really hard to keep track of time because so it's... much has been happening in each kind of 24-hour segment. Here she comes, and Liz Truss, her husband, alongside her. Let's listen in. We set out a vision for a low-tax, high-growth economy that would take advantage of the freedoms of Brexit. I recognise, though, given the situation, I cannot deliver the mandate on which I was elected by the Conservative Party. I will remain as Prime Minister until a successor has been chosen. Thank you.